Hi, Smart Home Sunday, Paul here. I've been looking at Home Assistant the last few weeks and last week in particular, I started to look at ways to change the smart lighting in the house to match the circadian rhythms. And I looked at some adaptive lighting solutions in Home Assistant. And the one I started with, well, it's the easiest to start with. So Home Assistant Flux. Now the Flux project, uh, a lot of admiration for the people behind it. They've done an amazing job. However, Flux in Home Assistant, I'm not gonna recommend it, no. So there you go. Uh, look, I'll share the experience with you and why I don't see that it's the solution that I'm after for a true adaptive lighting experience in our home in Finland, in Turku. There's a hint for you as to maybe why Flux won't work for us. But let me share with you one thing that happened during the week. So I started testing this with just one light in the whole room, so just over the table. And it seemed to work for a couple of days. And then I thought, okay, let's jump right in. I'll make all of the lights now controlled by Flux. And the Flux system takes into account a start time, then a sunset time, then an off time. Now the sunset time you can't adjust, right? The system's smart. It looks at the sunset of the location that you live in. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Yeah. So Yenny, however, experienced flux gone wrong. So on the first morning that I decided to make flux control all of the lights in the house, uh, Yenny got up just after 6 a.m. and selected her favorite lighting scene which is uh, energize. So get lots of energy and blue light in the house to help wake up in the morning. And that happened for a moment. And then the system turned it all back to that candle lit feeling, very romantic. So yeah, you pressed the button again, went back to energize. Flux did its job, went back into candlelight. You see, Flux was thinking the sun hasn't risen yet. No, 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 you still need this warm light. And therein lies part of the problem with this system. You could kind of hack and control and set up automations to fake a sunrise and a sunset time, but I don't see the point in that. So I won't be continuing with Flux in Home Assistant it was quite a major fail. <laughs> I think it's only, only today was I able to talk about this subject with Yedni without uh, her being uh, upset or annoyed about it anymore. Uh, I did get my uh, tinkering hands uh, burned. You've got to be careful when you're testing on the production system in the house. But no, everything's all right. But uh, I'm going to have to try another lighting adaptive system uh, the reason why Home Assistant Flux doesn't work, well, let me show you. I mean, right now in Finland, we're actually in the March equinox. It was actually yesterday. So equal day and night thereabouts. So around about 12 hours of day, 12 hours of night at the moment in Turku in Finland. That's great. Now let's jump forward in the year. And in June, well, the sun rises at around about 4 a.m., and it's such sunset is about 10, 30, 11 p.m. And that's just in the southernmost part of Finland. Uh, we don't live up near the top where in the summer, the sun never sets. <laughs> Go to Lapland, don't believe the flat earthers. Go to Lapland, you'll see the sun's doing circles around there for quite some time. Anyway, I digress. So that's the situation in Turku in June. And then in December, you end up with uh, sunrise at 9 a.m. and sunset at about three o'clock in the afternoon. Now, the point is this, the flux system, it's trying to match your rhythm to the sun, to the sunrise and the sunset. And it absolutely looks like it's designed very much on the science and I'm sure that's a great idea, but uh, it's quite necessary in many parts of the world that are 
quite north, that you, you just can't match the sun. So I need another solution. We need fake sunlight throughout the day. If you've seen any of my vlogs, you would have also have seen in the past the blackout curtains that I've made and they're very handy and already we're starting to think about putting them in place because the nights are already getting lighter, which is great. Summer is awesome in Finland. But sleeping in the sun, not always the best sleep. So anyway, next week I'm going to try the next uh, adaptive lighting setup with Home Assistant. Now you probably know a whole lot more about the sun in Finland and maybe you'd know if Home Assistant Flux would be an option for you. It's definitely the quickest and easiest thing to set up. I am thinking how Flux could work to simulate a sunset from an artistic point of view, right? So the lights could be still on past three o'clock but it would be interesting to see say maybe on the on the staircase where I've got lights you know you could simulate on the wall some kind of sunset that might be interesting so maybe I'll play around with that later on that could be a, a use for or I could use flux for that anyway <sighs> that brings smart home Sunday to a close next Sunday another adaptive lighting test with Home Assistant. I'll share it with you then. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I probably should go to sleep now. The sun was gone a long time ago.